Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new subbies and happy Tuesday. It's also hashtag Tea Tuesday hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's favorite things. They're linked in the description box below. Open collaboration. You can check it out. Let us know how you're doing. Check in on your friends and share what's happening in your little corner of the world. No tea today, my friends. I am rocking my Diet Coke. Oh, my ice is already melted. Oh my goodness. It is hot under this light up here, but I do have one of my favorite things and that's a slice of lemon or a slice slice of lime in my diet soda, which I rarely drink. I try to go for water as much as I can. However, we do have a beautiful little flourishing key lime tree in our backyard. So I have a little key lime in here. Love that. It is blooming with fruit, which is perfect because my daughter makes an amazing key lime pie and I make a pretty decent key lime bar similar to a lemon bar, but using that little key lime. I have a wonderful story to share about that little key lime tree one day and its history. I'll save that for another day because you know what else it is? It's National Recycling Day. And if there's one thing you've been hanging out with me for a little while that you probably know other than my love of Snoopy and Starbucks is that I love to recycle cycle, upcycle, and thrift flip whenever and however I can. Keep that stuff out of the landfill, my friends. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorite things to use in my crafting. There's a lot of them. I'm going to share the ones that I use the most, and then a sample of one that I made using those exact same supplies. But first, I would love to invite you to hit that subscribe button right up there and become part of my YouTube family and this crafty community. I'd love to share the things that I have planned for the rest of this year here with all of you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button with your notifications on and you won't miss a single thing. Let's jump in and get started, my friends. Let's start with the obvious, the cereal box. Everybody has a cereal box or access to one in your home. And this, my friends, is one of the favorite things that I use all the time. First of all, look how large of a space you get to play with. This is prime real estate right here so many different ways you can use all of this. This is chipboard. That's all this is. And this is perfect for painting the whole thing, Mod Podge, acrylic paint, chalk paint, and using this as a springboard for something else. This is perfect, perfect for crafting. And there's so much here. Oh my goodness. You can cut this down to cards. You can use this for a bookmark. This is absolute dreamy. And then if you are really in a crunch, you can use the fun things on the front of these boxes. Boxes, which I have done. I've actually made birthday cards out of cereal boxes. Just like that, use your die cutting and make this into a fun little card. Add a happy birthday sentiment and you have an instant happy birthday card. Over here, use this little spot here, turn it into a bookmark. So I try to keep the cereal boxes as often as I can. The other one, the most obvious, is the pasta box. And the reason why is same thing. You can use all of this for card making, a mem deck, a bookmark ATCs but right here this acetate is what you're gonna be needing and this is an easy way to make an instant shaker card right here take a die do this run it through your machine and you have this small space right here already done for you you don't have to do any of the work another way to do this is to dress it up either paint it or put some designer paper on it the way to do that is to do an identical cut just like that take a smaller die so one that fits perfectly like that and die cut out the center of your designer paper just got some little sticky fingers today speaking of which this manicure oh my goodness compliments of my four-year-old granddaughter <laughs> all outside the lines and everything, but I love it. She had a pop-up little nail salon <laughs> earlier this afternoon. She even had a little tip jar and everything. It was a hoot. We all had to get in line and get our nails painted. So yeah, I'm going to be rocking these fun nails at least until she can't see it. <laughs> It'll take it back off. But I love the memories that we are building together. She is the apple of my eye oh my goodness so we had fun doing our nails so my friends that's all you do you die cut this out what's going to be left behind is this little piece here this will be gone this will be gone and you just fasten it right down on there you have an instant ability to make a shaker card don't think it works yes it does here's a perfect example right here this little shaker card right here was made from a pasta box this is actually from spaghetti and i just added it inside this little shaker card and there you go 
Oh, it does work, I promise. Keep it out of the landfills, that's what I say. One of my other favorite items to use is menus. I will collect the menus if and when I go to a restaurant or pass by one. I'll ask them, hey, do you mind if I take one? This is from one of the Chinese takeouts near our home, which by the way, they have an amazing shrimp lo mein. But I love this because you can use this in your junk journaling or even your die cutting. Something just like that, instant, instant little die cut and right there as you can see here you have a beautiful little scene you didn't have to color it didn't have to watercolor it didn't have to paint it it was just done for you all from a small menu and if you are a junk journaler these are perfect for pages or you can even put this on a little card lots of different ways to use it this one i had from chipotle which was funny because i did a taco card and i used this right here this was the base of my card and i had like tacos hanging off of it it turned out cute i absolutely loved it same thing with their bags don't be afraid to ask for a bag i've been in restaurants before didn't need one and i told them do you mind if i take one of those bags nine out of ten times they will tell you yes and the reason why they may not is they might be running short and this was long before the whole pandemic where things were a little harder to come by they were very generous with their bags this is an instant book right here you just made a handmade book out of this little bag so this is a perfect way to use these if you get an order my daughters get a lot of these orders all the time I will keep their bag as long as it doesn't have anything spilled in it as long as there's no grody food nothing leaking no sauces nothing sticky which is where this came from also same thing for this this one here is a small little lunch bag and you can turn it into a sweet little album just like that so bags, I tend to use my bags. This is my granddaughter's toy. She had some little Play-Dohs in here and I saw this heading towards the trash and I said, no, 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 <laughs> I need that. So here we go again, some terrific acetate that you will be able to use in those shakers and cute little projects. So I definitely had to hang on to that one. I also tend to use this here, these little sticker pads. Whenever I am done using all of the stickers, I try to use the bottom, this little base here, and also this plastic wrap, especially if you're going to be using some watercolors or some um, dye-based ink, you can put it here, spritz it with water, especially if you're going to be using the smoothing technique. All you gotta do is take some cardstock, spruce it down like that, just smoosh it down, and you have instant access to that ink right there. And I just love those. I love to use those. And again, that cardboard that I showed you earlier is a great springboard for using for cards as well. Sometimes you don't want to use the foam because you know it's going to be not even seen. You can bulk up your cards and give it a lot of dimension by sliding in some of that cardstock, some of that uh, chipboard from those cereal boxes underneath your cardstock. So even under here, I do have some foam. This is a perfect example. Cut down a piece of that chipboard from the cereal box fasten it under here and it'll give your card some dimension that's why i love to keep those the other things that i like to get in the mail when my daughters or i get a package i keep the box and this is something that i can reuse and send out to a friend again but this is the box that i wanted to show you this came as a rectangular box so hopefully you can see this from your vantage point it looks just like this so picture this completely closed on the other end so this part here here was also up here. I cut it in half, so now I have two identical of these, but look at this. This looks just like a binder. It looks as if all I'm needing are those three little binder rings on the inside, and this makes a perfect little album, especially if I cut this in half and do like a little six by six album. I am obsessed with the shape of this box, and I didn't have to do any work. It's super sturdy very very thick so this is an amazing box all i did was take the top off and i have this gorgeous little journal just like that beautiful to put some picture frames in especially if you use some of those little rings from the dollar tree just like this oh my goodness you have an instant little mini album and then i saw this box and i thought even this would fasten inside here so you could have a box in a box how cute is that so i try to hang on to those here is is what I made my friends this was literally made using a cereal box I believe
think this was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I put on some designer paper to the front of it, and then this was just some old cards that I had, some old envelopes that were all stuck together that I wasn't able to pry apart, and I just used the bottom part of the envelopes, and I made a little tiny album. I put on some little Christmas paper, put a little border here. This was from Five Below, came in a set for just $1, these little jumbo um, paper clips, and I got the red one out because I thought it was nice and Christmassy. Added on a little bow that I had from the Dollar Tree, and there you go. I thought this was super cute. Again, this was heading to the trash, and I turned it into a little album. Just did some rounded corners using my little rounder there. On the outside of here, put a little uh, border section on the back, stapled it in place, and that's all you gotta do. So things that you have right there in your house. This is what I made, and I made it literally in under probably five minutes flat. It was super easy to do, and just super cute. Throw that in your bag, keep it in your car, and I'm forever taking notes. I'm either writing things or ideas pop into my head. I like to have paper and pen near me at all times. So I'll put something like this, just like this, a little set, and I'll have it, you know, close by in my Jeep, or it'll drive around with me in my Jeep, or I'll throw it in my bag. So there you go. That is what I have to share for National Recycling Day. Make sure that you keep all the little things that you can keep around your house and see what fun ways you can use them. Remember, hit that subscribe button, my friends. Love for you to be part of my family. Hi, baby. There's our little puppy. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.